What's up, guys? Uh, Sloppy Wet Below here. Um, just thinking about doing um, a Precision X by EVGA. It's their uh, overclocking tool that they give you from the website. Well, you actually get it with the disc that comes with your 600 series um, GPU. Uh, getting a lot of, uh, getting some questions about how to use it. You know, best way to use it. You know, what do you do with it? Well, first thing is, it's it's really good. It's I think it's a great overclocking tool. I'm going to show you some of the stuff on it, uh, some of the stuff you really don't need. It goes pretty in-depth, but I do use it, and it's great. Especially when you get your second card in there, it monitors everything. You could set your fan um, accordingly, which, honestly, that alone is priceless because um, when you leave your fan on auto, it really doesn't go up. I don't think it goes past 50, and the cards will run hot. All right. I don't care what kind of cooling system you have. When you start playing uh, intensive games for a while, you're going to have issues. So let's go through some of the stuff that I, I think will be informative for you guys. And, you know, take it for a grain of salt, but this is what I would do. The right, first thing I want to show you is on the outside um, is the actual core, the uh, GPU core. The blue represents where, well, what is, what right now what's going on is it's clocked down. Because what's going on is uh, it's got um, like an energy saving type of feature on it, which is awesome. So when you're not doing any kind of intensive things, it'll clock itself down. As you see, the GPU clock right here is 324 megahertz. Okay, it shows it a voltage too. All right. So what's going on is right now, if I was playing like Batman or you know Battlefield Three. Uh, it would clock itself up to 1,025, okay? That's what the um, core clock is supposed to be at if it's getting used. Uh, boost is the extra feature on the 600 series, as you see that orange right there. Or that's the boost clock, which I think is um, 1,075, all right? Um, obviously, if you're going to overclock your cards, which is another thing, you want to jump up your power target and then you know, put up your GPU clock and your memory clock. Now, every every card is a little different, okay? So, some cards are going to get better overclocking than other cards. It's all up to you. Um, honestly, there's a ton of stuff out there uh, by really reliable sources that I recommend you check out, and they'll tell you about what they're getting with their clocks and go accordingly. Um, that's all up to you guys. Um, yeah, it is what it is. But anyway... So that's it for the sort of overclocking. You would upgrade, you know, you would put up your power target, you would set your GPU clock up, and obviously, if you go up 20, you're going to push up 20. So if it's 1025, it'll go to 1045 on the um, GPU clock, and that's how that works accordingly. And the memory, too, as you pump it up, you know, the memory is the more sensitive area because the memory doesn't usually have as much headroom as the GPU clock, but. That's another thing. All right, some things to look at. You could adjust your voltage here, which I don't think you even have to be, unless you're going to go really intense, because even when you max out the power target, you still can keep the actual stock voltage, and I think it's, from what I've read, it's still plenty. But, again, that's all up to you. Uh, things I don't like messing with is the voltage too much. Now, monitoring, when you go into the monitoring screen, you have many options. You're going to have the power. It'll show you graphs, which I'll show you in a second. You've got GPU clock. you got memory clock. Um, the checks here on your left are representing what I want to monitor, okay? Memory clock, I can care less at, you know. Um, GPU voltage, fan speed, these are the things I like to know. Fan speed, fan tachometer, you know, tachometer uh, GPU usage, GPU temperature, okay? And I even have an alarm setting. Now, what the alarm does is if you see here, maximum limit 80. If, if it hits 80, uh, it'll send the alarm off. That means the car's getting pretty hot. So you could set up minimum if it's not running, no, not running properly. You could set up a minimum, but I use it right now. I have it as 80. I just kind of got the card, so I have some basic things. But that's how you do it. When you click it, all right, you're gonna have different setups, okay? And that's it. You could decide what you want. Like right here is the alarm. There's my alarm settings, GPU usage, uh, maximum 100. You could set that for the stuff you just want to monitor it. Um, the things that you are interested in monitoring. You can go pretty in-depth if you want, all right? Um, now, up top here, if you see, it says hardware polling period. And what that means is, like, it says 28,000. Really what it means is that's going to be 28 minutes. So if you have it at 25,000, it's 25 minutes, and it'll monitor um, these things that you've checked off, 
all right? Again, it's up to you, personal preference. You could do show and on-screen mode. There's really in-depth, okay? And the fun thing is if you just leave it there, as you see, it pops up, and it'll explain what it does, all right? But I'm just going to show you the things that I think you guys really could use or if you're interested in. Um, I'll get into the fan. So right now, I have start with Windows. So pretty much when Windows starts, obviously, this is going to run minimized, and it's going to do according to what you want. Start minimized, I have it as that. Otherwise, it's going to pop up as this big thing right here every single time you boot your computer. So it's up to you, whatever you guys are into. Now, the fun things. As you see here, you got fan speed, 30%, auto, fan curve. This is how hot the card is running at the present moment, 37 Celsius. All right, let's get into the fan curve. Now, this is the interesting thing. I'm going to move it over. Now, fan speed and update period, I leave it on low, so that way it keeps refreshing. If you put it too high, it won't register right away. And then you could have some, you know, like delays on when the fan kicks in because it's got a it's got a monitoring system to know when to increase your fan speeds. Now, how to do this? This is pretty simple. You see these little boxes: box one, box two. You could set as many as you want. If you click, it'll add a new box. All right. And what I mean by a box is that'll be another interval of how you want your fan to work. So as simple as this. If you see on the bottom, okay, you got the temperature in Celsius as this damn thing keeps popping up. Let me get off it. So there you go. There's your temperatures. When you start getting towards, you know, when you're in the 80s, you're getting hot as hell. You don't want to be getting over there, okay? And as you see, so that's the temperature in Celsius, and then you have the fan speeds on your left. If you see 80, that's pretty much the cap of what the fan could probably obviously do. Um, it may be able to go faster, but you don't even want to be getting to that all the time because you'll kill these damn cards. So what I have it as is here, okay? I have it as when... Fan speed is 30, okay? I have it at fan speed 30 when it's 40 degrees Celsius. So when it'll stay, that's what it's going to do. It'll kick in at it. It'll stay at fan speed 30 until we get to 40. When it gets to 40, I mean a 50 degrees Celsius, it'll kick up to 40, all right? So once it hits 50 degrees, it has a monitoring system to know to kick up the fan to 40%.